What's good, BitRushers? My name is D5Brains, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. Today's video is the second part of using the smart contract, that simple smart contract that I had in the past video. If you, if you guys haven't watched that one, I will have a playlist for all of the videos in this series, so you guys can go back and watch that. It's basically a simple smart contract. They teach you how to deploy it and use all of the functions. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a Merkle root for your whitelist and how to get the hex proof for each of those leaves. I've also decided to make this a three-part series video, which I didn't mention in the first part. And so in the third part, the third video, I will go through and teach you guys how to upload your files for IPFS storage and how to test them on Rinkeby using OpenSea. So if that all sounds good, make sure you guys do sub to the channel, click the bell on to be notified as future videos drop and find all three of the videos in this series on how to use that simple smart contract on the playlist. And the best way to keep up to date with what we're doing over here at Abraxas DAO is to either join the Discord server, discord.gg forward slash Abraxas, and that's where you'll be able to find all of the files. And you can also follow us over on Twitter at Abraxas underscore DAO. So make sure you guys give us a follow and join up the Discord server if you want access to that simple smart contract. And I will also post the playlist of all three videos. One, how to deploy the smart contract and use the functions. The second video, which is this one, how to use the Merkle root. And the third video, how to use IPFS storage and test on OpenSea Rinkeby test network. That all sounds good. Let's go ahead and get into the content. So we're going to come over to our Braxis Discord server. Again, it'll be linked in the description. And we have under NFT creators, we have an NFT resources. So under NFT smart contracts, you can see here the simple smart contract. This is what we used in that last video. And again, if you guys haven't watched that one, just pause this. You'll find it on the playlist. Go back and watch it. And then you'll be up to date on what you need to do for this video. I've recently added the Merkle tree. So you guys can download that. It's called MerkleTree.zip. You will need to download that file, unpack it. And once you have it in a folder, we'll be ready to go. The next thing you're going to need to do for this is to download Visual Studio Code if you guys don't already have this installed on your computer. And you'll also need Node.js. So go ahead and download this and install it. And I'll have this linked in the description below as well as Node.js. And this is what Node.js looks like. So again, just uh, download it and install it. And when you're installing this stuff, make sure you guys don't install any of the extras. You don't need any of that stuff. Just the straight package here for Node.js. Make sure you guys do the regular one, install it, and get it ready to rip. If you guys have any questions or you know problems or anything like that with any of this process, you can ask me in the Discord server. That's what we're there for. That's what these NFT resources are there for. So when you get into Visual Studio Code, what you're going to want to do is do File, Open Folder, and you're going to navigate to wherever you've unzipped that package for the Merkle tree. Just click on it and select that folder. It's going to open you up um, to something that looks maybe like this. You're going to have these side files here. You're going to want to click on the package, open a new terminal, and do npm install it's going to install all the dependencies in the packages you can do that for this one as well and once everything's installed you'll be ready to use the actual software here and so we're going to click on that merkle tree.js and from here you can add all of your addresses that you'd like to whitelist so um, this is the ones that I have right here. You're going to just continue to add them if you want more. Make sure you have a comma after each one and they're in single quotations. So follow the format that's already in there. And these are all of my addresses right here that I use for testing. So if you guys want to whitelist my test addresses, go ahead and do so. And then you'll find right here, this is how we're going to find the hex proof. So whichever address you have listed right here, we'll get the hex proof for. So there's two functions here find Merkle root and find hex proof. I have find hex proof commented out with a forward slash forward slash. And right now, so if we ran this, we would just find the Merkle root of all of these addresses we have listed. So super simple, add all of the addresses you want using the same format. Then we're gonna come down to the terminal and we're gonna run a node Merkle underscore tree.js, which is the name of the file right here, the Merkle tree.js. 
So we're just going to type in node Merkle underscore tree dot JS. Go ahead and hit enter. And I'm not sure why it's not showing that on my screen, but I'm just going to do it again a couple times so you guys can see. There we go. So we did the same thing um, over and over again, just so you guys can see the bottom of my screen here. But essentially that's it. You type in node Merkle underscore tree dot JS, and it's going to give you that hash right there. I'm going to copy and paste that hash. And that is going to be our Merkle root for all of the addresses we currently have listed here above. Now, the second part of this process obviously is finding the hex proofs for each one of these addresses. And most likely you're gonna to wanna to just create a text document to copy and paste them in, copy and paste the Ethereum address. And then below it, you'll get like this little open bracket, close bracket, and we're gonna do that next. So to do that, we're going to come to our code. We're going to comment out the find root slash slash and we're going to uncomment out the second function which is to find the hex proof so i'm going to find the hex proof to this address here 0xe4c7 right whatever that address is that you guys have listed here and again just simply copy and paste each one of these addresses in and you'll get this for each address you will have to continue to run the function and uh, it's the same function as below node merkle.js but now we've commented out the first part and we're just going to find the hex proof oh, forgot you got to do file save so make sure you save the file actually after you comment out the other ones and uh, here we go so now we're using the second function and there we go it gives you the three addresses or the three uh, hex proofs for the address and again just copy that and paste it over in a text document. It's really that simple, guys. It's pretty simple and easy. Hopefully you guys found this easy enough to follow along. I didn't make too many mistakes today. Um, just forgetting to save the file after I comment out find Merkle root and uncommenting out find hex proof. You can also do this, both of them at the same time if you really wanted, but it's only gonna find one. Um, you know, so it doesn't really make sense to do that. It's easier to just do it one by one um, to first find the actual Merkle root and then to find the hex proof of each address. So um, yeah, that's it guys, simple enough. Hopefully you guys found that simple and easy to use. And this is where you can find that information that we used in the last video. Again, if you guys need help with your smart contract, maybe you're not using my smart contract and you have your own and you just wanted to do this, you can use this with any smart contract that uses Merkle root. However, I do have that free available simple smart contract in the NFT resources in the discord.gg forward slash Abraxas. Trying to make it as easy as possible for you guys to follow along and do all of these steps. Again, I am going to make a third part video where I go through and upload some files into the IPFS storage and show you how to set the not revealed URI and also the base URI for every single NFT after we've done a reveal. And then we'll go ahead and we'll test it on the Rinkaby network on OpenSea to make sure everything is working as we do hope. So that's basically everything for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you smash the thumbs up on the video. Sub to my channel if you're not already. Bell on to be notified. If you like the video, share it on social media. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the third part video.